Today marks the beginning of Men's Health Week. Men's Health Week is celebrated each year as the week leading up to and including Father's Day. The purpose is to heighten awareness of preventative health measures and encourage men and boys to seek regular medical advice and early treatment for disease and injury. So for some tips on staying fit and healthy, we're going to welcome three-time Olympian Meryl Moses and sports nutritionist Becky Twombly. Thank you both so much for joining us. And Becky and I were just talking. She's from Tampa these days, though, here in California. So glad to have you back on the Tampa TV mm -hmm. with us. Thank you. It's good to be back. <laughs> well, let's start off. Ladies first, though, Becky. You know, we mentioned men and boys in my intro there. Why is it important to talk about mm -hmm. all age groups when we're talking about this initiative? Well, you know, when you can start healthy habits early in life, you're going to lead into a healthier adult life and a healthier older life. Um, so it's really important that when, you know, we're talking about fueling and exercising, that you're really committing to something that's going to be a, a routine you can use for life, for a lifetime. Okay, I got it. I want to give this quote, Meryl, to you. Now, an Olympic medalist in water polo, so it's kind of appropriate that you're talking about aging ferociously and not just gracefully like we normally hear. Talk about the meaning behind this. Well, uh, I was on the cusp of turning 40 at my last Olympics in Rio 2016, and I basically didn't have a choice. I had to age ferociously because I was playing the most physically demanding sport in the world. It's the biggest endurance sport, water polo, and I think it's all about attitude, and you have to have the right attitude to set your goals, and my biggest thing to staying healthy with Men's Health Week coming up is trying to exercise at least 30 minutes a day. Obviously, I was training six to eight hours a day. Don't expect people to be doing that unless you're going to the Olympic Games, but 30 minutes a day is gonna change everything for you, keep you healthy, and prevent any sickness or any things that can go wrong with your body. Mm -hmm. And Yeah, the habits that, are, that, that Meryl's talking about too with the 30 minutes a day and making sure that you're staying active, you can incorporate some fueling strategies with that as well. And making sure that we, you know, you can include these foods that we have out here. These are basically the all-Americans of the functional food group, right? So we have pistachios here that are a multitasking nut. They have protein, they have healthy fats, and they also have three types of antioxidants, which can really promote muscle growth and decrease your blood pressure. That was a big part of my Olympic preparation. <laughs> uh, it is also the USA water polo snack, and it kept me going strong. And you can see it works, because look how big Meryl's muscles are. <laughs> Um, and he probably also used a tart cherry juice, which is here. Um, that's used after workouts to really improve your recovery time and also to um, help improve your sleep quality. Um, we have snacks here like a yogurt parfait that's got protein and antioxidants with the berries in it. Beets, which are here, this helps to improve the oxygen that can get to your muscles and tissues. And it also decreases your blood pressure to help with your cardiovascular health. We have milk here, which is a good hydration fluid. Not only does it have protein, calcium, and vitamin D, but it also has the electrolytes that your body needs for quick recovery and good hydration. And then finally, we have more healthy fats here. So we've got the pistachios, the salmon, and this grass-fed beef, which just create a great healthy fat profile that is high in omega-3s for your heart health. I gotta say, guys, you know what I've enjoyed about this segment is the fact that all of those, there's nothing crazy that you just introduced us to. It's just standard food. How did you describe it, Becky, when you first started all American food? Is that what you said? Oh, yeah. Yep, the all Americans of this functional food group. You know, it's funny because people are always asking me, hey, what supplement can I use or what can I do? And you know, it's really all about the foods that we have. I think people forget sometimes that we know that supplements are good for us or they're created because the food was helpful for us. You know, it, it's, it's more pleasurable to eat the food rather than to take a powder. So, um, so, you know, we're a food first philosophy most of the time. Good stuff. Becky, Merrill, thank you both so much for joining us today and all of your tips as Father's Day approaches. We appreciate your time. Yeah.